What's up? Welcome back to Whole Future. I'm in the car, and, uh, okay, I was checking Facebook, I'm in traffic, and, uh, my buddy sent me this picture, it was Conan O'Brien, and apparently he said on, Con like, on his show recently that a UN report says that the world could be saved through veganism. Well, that's not happening. I got news for you, pal. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. You will be assimilated. Um, you really don't have a lot of other options. It's just, it comes down to, we're just blowing through way more resources than, uh, than we can sustainably produce. And <laughs> two of the main resources that we need to survive are food and water. And anim animal agriculture uses <laughs> really uses food in really inefficiently I'll talk about that and uses up a lot of water why is this because to grow animals for food you have to grow plants for those animals to eat and so it becomes very inefficient so an acre of land can produce 30, 40, 50,000 pounds of uh, fruits and vegetables, depending on, you know, what type it is. I think tomatoes is like 50,000. That's like the most. Um, but, you know, other uh, more calorically dense things like potatoes, I think it's like 40,000 pounds. You can only make 375 pounds, 375 pounds of meat in a year with an acre of land. So this is orders of magnitude more. Because think about it. You gotta use some of that land to grow grain to feed the animals. And then, you know, you can only like graze so many animals on a finite plot of land. So you can grow way more uh, plants than you can animals on a given amount of land. We use something like 30% of the Earth's land mass for agriculture. Now, if we grew fruit trees everywhere, not only would we prevent the deforestation, reverse the deforestation that we're doing in like the Amazon and all that, so now we have all this like, you know, all these trees that are producing fruit, they're also converting carbon dioxide into oxygen. And crazy cockeyed op optimists have estimated that the Earth could support 50 billion people. 50 billion people. That's like more than almost 10x what the population is now, maybe like 6 or 7x. So, I mean, it's possible, but we got to stop, you know, growing grains to feed the cows, to eat the cows. It's like so inefficient, creates so much pollution. Those dogs, those cows shit, those chickens shit, okay? That's called methane, that's called carbon, and that all goes in the atmosphere and converts to pollution. Trees don't shit. <laughs> in fact, if anything... They reverse the shit. They convert... Um, a cop just drove by me. They convert the shit into oxygen. So, and then water usage is a whole other thing. I mean, you know, a pound of fruits and vegetables is something like, you know, 25 gallons of water to produce. I know that sounds like a lot. When you take that, a, a pound of beef is 6,400 6,400 gallons of water. Do you know how many showers that is? You know, it's it's estimated that vegans could easily leave their shower on all year long, 24-7, and still not consume nearly as much water as someone who eats meat once a day. So, so now we're looking at, you know, that's another resource, water, land mass. I mean, it's just, it's a slam freaking dunk. And the best part is like, it's good for your health, it's better for your health than eating dead animals. And it's it's the ethical choice. I mean, you know, so many people would, um, you know, they cry when their dog dies, but oh, another cow gets slaughtered. I mean, what's the difference really? You know, I mean, really. Because in, in China they eat dogs. You know, I won't go too much on the ethical argument, but you know, a plant-based diet the end of animal agriculture is a slam dunk. I mean, okay, if you want to go out and, like, hunt wild animals, you know, I've, that's a way different than animal agriculture. 
I don't think it's like necessarily veganism that is the answer, although that would be nice, but just the end to animal agriculture in any sort of organized fashion. Uh, because it's, it's killing us, and it's killing the uh, ecosystem we live in. So we're going <laughs> to... I mean, we're either going to go plant-based, we're going to get rid of animal agriculture, or it's going to get rid of us. And we're going to make the earth, like, inhospitable for us. We'll die off. You know, lots of other species will die off. But, you know, the earth will keep going. It's not like people say we're destroying the planet. It'd be pretty hard to destroy the planet. You know, make it inhospitable for humans. Yeah, yeah. Um, but... Pff, veganism can save the planet. You better freaking believe it, pal. Anyway, that's what my whole vision is about. This whole future channel, you know. Um, just peace on earth. We're no longer killing animals. We're putting them in our body. We're not going to want to act violently. Prosperity. We all have plenty to eat. We all have, you know, there's plenty of resources to go around. We're no longer, like, using resources so inefficiently that we have this poverty phenomenon that's going on. There's no reason that should exist. And, you know, a, a, a well planet that uh, we have a a happy, functioning, hospitable planet and well-being for ourselves that we're happy and we're healthy and we're at peace with ourselves because we're no longer, you know, doing this weird, like, charade where we're pretending we love animals but then we're, like, eating them two or three times a day. So, yeah, hell yeah. I mean, Conan can make jokes about it but to me, that's just like it's reaching mainstream consciousness, you know? So... Anyway, that's my spiel on it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you think it's a powerful message, please share it on Facebook or wherever. And check me out on Instagram, Whole Future. Posting a lot of pics of fruit foraging lately. And Whole Future on Facebook as well. Thank you guys. Have a blessed day. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys a lot. And I'll be at you real soon with a new video. Peace.